Uh, this morning I've been asked to explain to you what our demonstration setup here is. Uh, we have a 270 watt uh, solar panels. These are supplying the power to a lead acid battery which is sitting here behind the uh, satellite dish. Uh, there's a charge controller uh, and then there is a step up inverter gives us 240 volts to power the modem and to power the little router that we have running the Wi-Fi network. So we have the two solar panels as I said earlier. Before you here is a KU band 1.2 metre satellite dish. This is used for our interim KU band service on JSAT. On the tower the first white box you see is a high powered 2 and 5 gig Wi-Fi radio. Above that you can see the GPS antenna and the two small antennas below another white box. That's a small cell running band 38 LTE 4G. Above that is the omnidirectional 2x2 MIMO antenna for Wi-Fi. This is a perfect system for remote islands, remote villages, where there's no power, where there's no communication. People can use inexpensive Wi-Fi devices, tablets, and even their mobile phones. As you can see here behind us is a 1.2 metre KU band antenna. This is currently used on our interim KU band service. Very shortly, towards the end of this year, in December, we'll have our KA band satellite online. And a dish of this size, 1.2 metre with an integrated transceiver, KA band transceiver, speeds of over 150 megabits per second inbound and 20 megabits per second return are easily achievable. Uh, it's an excellent service for mobile backhaul, Wi-Fi backhaul and this would be perfect for a village uh, or a small town or even for schools and clinics throughout the islands. <laughs>